Captain Steve Rowland faked his own death, officially killed in action. After that, he was free to assassinate the president without anyone suspecting him. But he didn't plan on getting squeezed by his employers. Yes, killed by the mongoose. Yet he somehow got back to his wife's house, where he died. Kim Rowland is the one who came up with the dead ringer idea. I arranged for this man to undergo plastic surgery in order to make him resemble Steve Rowland. The bait worked like a charm. The wolves came out of their den. Colonel Amos, this man is innocent. It's high time we started sharing our information. What do you think? They're preparing a coup, General. Two of them are meeting tonight, and I know where. upstairs in less than a minute. Agents alert, get ready, he's on his way. He's in the meeting room. Copy, go to 1025. Can you connect me to frequency one? Done. Keep backup units on full alert. We're behind schedule. What's the latest update, number nine? I managed to convince them all. Corporate, finance, even the media. This country's most influential people are ready to support the future regime. I have on me the list of supporters. I'll give it to number three tonight while we wait for battle at the sanctuary. What do you think, number five? Perfect. And on my end, the news is rather encouraging. Despite a slight setback, we'll control all of the country's strategic points by tomorrow evening. Through Operation Total Red, we will finally be able to establish our authority. And as anticipated, <laughs> President Galbrain doesn't suspect a thing. <laughs> What 
spotted us. Willard and Winslow are heading for the elevators. Cut the power. My team's standing by to intercept. <sighs> Winslow's returning to the billiard room. Come on! This way! The room at the end of the hall! list of supporters. We've lost Willard. He can't get away. Oh! You underestimate our power! <laughs> <laughs> 